And who suffers more, those that lack the early phase and or those that lack the later phase of the night? Depends on what the outcome measure is. For example, during deep non-REM sleep, that's where we get this. It's almost a form of natural blood pressure medication. And so when I take that away from you the next day, we're usually going to see autonomic dysfunction. We're usually going to see abnormalities in heart rate, blood pressure. We also know that it's during deep non-REM sleep that there is a certain control of specific hormones. For example, we know that the insulin regulation of sort of metabolism, um, meaning how will you look from a regulated blood sugar perspective versus dysregulated pre-diabetic look of profile, that's where deep sleep seems to matter. If we selectively deprive you of that, we Growth can see hormone. them. Growth hormone is different, actually. So that's a, that's a beautiful demonstration where growth hormone seems to be more REM sleep dependent. And that's why we can come on to the effects of alcohol. And there's, there's some really impressive, frightening data on, on alcohol and its disruption of, um, of sleep. But then we also know testosterone. You know, peak levels of testosterone happen during REM sleep. So the second half of the night. It, which is the second half yeah. of the night. So it really just means that the your profile of mental and physical dysfunction will be different under both of those conditions.